Welcome back guys to this episode of Christianity over Islam with Sam Shimon and on today's episode Sam Shimon tried to prove that the Holy Spirit is God in the Quran and in Islam. Let's watch this amazing video to get more details. Let's talk about the Spirit in Islam. Muslims will tell you that the Spirit, the faithful Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a a Angel Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam. Here's my challenge to you Muslims. Now I want you to listen Muslims. Because now I'm going to invite your participation. Abdurrahman, Abu Bakr, every one of you. I want you to quote a single verse in the Quran where it says, Gabriel is the Spirit, the faithful Spirit, the Holy Spirit. You won't find it. There's not a single verse in the entire Quran where the Spirit of Allah, the faithful Spirit, the Holy Spirit is said to be Gabriel. <clears throat> I know you try to make an inference by taking two passages that do not make that point as I'm about to demonstrate. But here's what I'm going to prove, folks. I'm going to use the Quran only to prove the spirit in the Quran is distinct from Allah, subordinate to Allah, a person that can appear in human form as a man, creates and gives life and has the omni attributes of deity. So let me repeat what I'm going to prove right now. The spirit is distinct from Allah and yet inseparable from him. Let me emphasize that. Distinct but inseparable because he's a part of Allah, originates from Allah, subject to Allah, is a person who can have communication with others, can appear in human form, appears as a man, creates, gives life, and has the omni attributes of deity, proving that he is a divine person. What's my proof? Let's begin. You guys ready? David, you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeehaw, partner. All right, first line of evidence. Chapter 19, verses 16 and 21. Chapter 19, verses 16 and 21. And mentioned in the book, Maryam, Mary, when she withdrew from her people to an eastern place, and she took a veil apart from them. Then we sent unto her our spirit. The word is ruh, not angel. Beware of translations that say we sent her our angel. It doesn't say angel, it's ruh, ruhana. We sent her our spirit. Now watch the spirit. That present himself to her, a man without fault. So here Allah sent the spirit. He appeared as a man, a perfect looking man, right? Unblemished, perfect physical shape. She said, I take refuge in the All-Merciful from thee. She didn't know it was the Spirit. She thought it's a man who was trying to do something to her. If you fear God, I seek refuge with God from you. Now notice what he says. Muslims, listen. He said, I am but a messenger. I am a Rasul from your Lord, thy Lord, to give you a boy most pure. I'm just a messenger of your Lord. Don't be afraid, Mary. And I've come to give you, I will give you a son that is faultless. So the Spirit is, is sent to create life in mary's womb who's going to cause mary to get pregnant without sexual intercourse the spirit this is further confirmed in chapter 66 verse 12. 66 verse 12 muslims pay attention because you're going to have to now address it and mary the daughter of imran imran's daughter who guarded her private part so we breathe into into her actually into her private part our spirit note how the spirit gets mary pregnant folks allah send the spirit the spirit can speak and be spoken to because he spoke to Mary. Mary spoke to him, so he's personal. He appears in human form. He can appear as a man. And then he enters into Mary's private part. Excuse the graphic language. That's the language of the Quran. For what purpose? Why does he enter? Because he's going to cause her to get pregnant, which means that the Spirit has the power to create life, give life. So the Spirit is a messenger, subject to God. Speaks can be spoken to. He's a person. Can appear in human form, creates and gives life. This is further confirmed. In chapter 15, verses 28 to 29. And when thy Lord said to the angel, See, I am creating a mortal of a clay of mud molded. I'm going to create a man, clay mud molded. When I have shaped him, this is 15, 20, 29, and breathe my spirit into him, fall you down, bowing before him. So again, Allah breathes the spirit into Adam's lifeless body. Why? For the same reason he breathed the spirit into Mary's private part. Because the spirit is now going to animate Adam making him a living soul. So notice the spirit creates and gives life. But notice another thing. Allah breathed out the spirit. Muslims pay attention. Allah breathed out the spirit. That means the spirit is not part of creation. He didn't come from nothing or a, a part of the creation that Allah made. He came out of Allah, breathed out of Allah, meaning he's part of Allah. So here the spirit is part of Allah and distinct from Allah, subject to Allah, Allah's messenger who can appear as a man, who's a person who can speak and be spoken to, creates and gives life. Wow! Now, the icing on the cake. How do we know the spirit is not an angel? Because the Quran distinguishes the spirit from the angels. What do I mean? Before we continue with our video, you can see that so far, 
from this amazing video you can see that uh, the spirit is not part of creation Allah breathed his life into Adam the same way the spirit Allah sent to Mary breath life into her and she conceived and she gave birth to Jesus and you can also see that the spirit caused Mary to get pregnant the spirit breathed life into her and she got pregnant according to the Quran's account so far we can see that the Holy Spirit is also a creator. Let's continue with this amazing video to get more details. Chapter 16, verse 2 of the Quran. He sends down the angels with the spirit of his command. Did you catch it? Two groups here. The angels come down with the spirit. So the spirit is distinguished from the angels. Angels one side, the spirit on the other side. And they both come down by the command of Allah, with the command of Allah. He sends down the angels with the spirit of his command. So they are commanded by Allah. Spirit comes down with the angels with the command of Allah. If the spirit is an angel, why is he being distinguished from the angels? Notice the spirit comes down with the angels. They're two separate gr groups. And Gabriel is an angel. So when the angels come down, that includes Gabriel. And yet the spirit is distinguished from them, showing he's not the angel Gabriel. Further confirmed in chapter 70, verse 4. Chapter 70, verse 4 of the Quran. To him, the angels, here again inclusive, not some, the angels collectively, the angels and the spirit. Chapter 70, verse 4. The angels and the spirit ascend, mount up, in a day whereof the measure is 50,000 years. Now, chapter 78, verse 38. 78, verse 38. Upon the day when the spirit and the angels, they're distinguished again. The angels as a class, collectively, and the spirit distinct from them. The spirit and the angels stand in ranks. They shall speak not, save him to whom all the merciful has given leave. So again, the spirit is subject to Allah. 97 verse 4. 97 verse 4. In it, the angels and the spirit descend. How many times must the Quran separate the spirit from the angels for the Muslims to understand and get it? The spirit is not an angel. <clears throat> angels are not the spirit. But since Gabriel is an angel, he cannot be the spirit. Still not convinced? 17 verse 85 here is the perfect time for muhammad to have said the spirit is gabriel because he's asked about the spirit notice muhammad's answer almost done chapter 17 verse 85 almost done <clears throat> they will question thee muhammad concerning the spirit Ar-Ruh. it's not talking about the human spirit it's talking about the spirit that comes down with allah's orders to create and give life they will question thee concerning Ar-Ruh, the spirit definite say the spirit is of the command of my Lord. Meaning the Spirit comes down by my Lord at my Lord's command. My Lord commands the Spirit, showing the Spirit is subject to, to Muhammad's Lord. You have been given of knowledge nothing except a little. Wow. Notice what Muhammad didn't say. When they asked him who the Spirit is, he didn't say, Gabriel. He says, all I know about the Spirit is my Lord commands him, sends him down by his command. And that's it. That's all we know. No more, no less. So Muhammad himself did not say the spirit is Gabriel. Muhammad cl claims the spirit is breathed out by Allah. So he comes out of Allah. So he's a part of Allah, not part of creation. The spirit can speak and appear as a man. So he's personal. And the spirit creates and gives life. And he has the omni attributes of God. So here's the final verse. Omni attributes. Chapter 58, verse 22. Thou shall not find. Chapter 58, verse 22. Thou shalt not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day who are loving to anyone who opposes Allah and his messenger, even though they are their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their clan. Those he has written faith upon their hearts and he has confirmed them, all of them, with the spirit from himself, Ruh and Min. All true believers are strengthened collectively by the spirit from himself. Now that word confirm, strengthen, Ayat, is used three other times. Three other times. Ayat. Is used three hundred times in reference to the spirit. Write it down. Chapter two, verse eighty-seven. Chapter two, verse two fifty-three. Two eighty-seven. Two two fifty-three. Chapter two, verse two fifty-three. Chapter five, verse one ten. It says Jesus was strengthened. Ayat. Same verb by the Holy Spirit, identifying this spirit with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the spirit from Allah who strengthens and confirms all believers simultaneously. So powerful. This passage is so powerful that Yusuf Ali in his commentary, and I can read it later, he says that this passage shows this spirit is divine. He's the divine spirit, which we can no more adequately explain as we can the nature of Allah. So even Yusuf Ali says that this passage shows that this spirit is divine beyond comprehension. Why? 
Because for the Spirit to be able to sp strengthen all believers at the same time, He must be omnipresent, omniscient. He must know who the believers are, where they are, and omnipotent to strengthen them. So the Spirit of God, omniscient, omnipotent, <clears throat> omnipresent. Spirit of God creates and gives life. The Spirit is distinguished from all angels. Muhammad says, I only know little about his identity. He's breathed out from Allah, so he's part of Allah, and he's a person that can appear as a man subject to Allah. What else do you need, Muslims? Okay, welcome back, guys. That was a very fascinating one from San Shaman and a very enlightening moment from San Shaman. I will do a brief recap about this and then will you tell us about what you've learned about this uh, this little enlightenment from San Shaman. And one of the things that he made mention was that the spirit is divine because it is omniscient according to the Quran, because the spirit can be at home uh, at, with all believers at the same time. Angels are not like that because they were created by Allah according to your Quran because they were created, right? But this spirit is omnipresence. It can be around your, the believers at all times according to your Quran. And also we got to learn that the spirit is a creator. It gives, it creates and it gives lives. And also it is different from other um, Allah's uh, creation. The spirit caused Mary to get pregnant and it spread life into her and she became pregnant according to your Quran's account and all that Sam Shimon have said. And we got to find out also that at every point where the spirits appear with the angels, the Quran always make exception to this. It didn't say that the angels, it always said the spirit and the angel so i believe san shaman is able to clear your doubt that, it, that most of you or should i say the muslim community who believe that the holy spirit is an angel you can see that the holy spirit is different from angel gabriel and other angels because it was differentiated from other allah's creation and it is a creator it's a giver of life guys let's know what you think about this enlightenment from san shaman in the comment section and also don't forget to share this amazing, amazing video with your friends and your family and do well to subscribe to the channel. See you in our next video.